in the previous video clip I have created a problem for myself just to show how virtual link is going to behave under circumstances so R4 is authenticating area 0 in the routing process not on the link um, and authentication works but after losing that interface switch 2 loses the reachability to all those networks here on the right hand side the reason being is R5 does not use any authentication so if I use authentication in the routing process for area 0 and virtual link belongs to area 0 the situation is that R4 is authenticating packets on, on the virtual link but R5 is not so to quickly illustrate a point is show IP OSPF neighbor I only have neighbor switch 2 which is 8888 a router 5 on area 1 so show run section router or SPF this command means that every link in area 0 will be authenticated I should have done this obviously on a link basis that would avoid this situation but I wanted to show the point so how do I fix it now so show IP OSPF interface brief as a result of this command highlighted all interfaces in area 0 will be authenticating the packets so as a result of that show IP OSPF virtual link on R4 we have enabled authentication using message digest but on R5 show IP OSPF virtual link nothing of the sort so how do I fix it two ways one I can move the authentication method on the link basis here using this e01.3 instead of a routing process or I can enable authentication method message digest which matches R4 on R5 virtual link and let's do that first so I'm gonna go to R4 R5 do router OSPF and area 1 virtual link towards 4444 use message um, authentication message digest so this command will turn on the authentication which is exact same method that we used in the routing process on R4 but here it's on the virtual link only and that should suffice to recreate adjacency over virtual link and here we go so now if I go back to R4 show IP OSPF neighbor we have adjacency built over the uh, virtual link right here as a result obviously switch 2 is receiving show IP routes OSP of all those packets since I am using now authentication on the virtual link as well I might as well use the password on that link so I may add maybe command here I'm gonna go to let's say R4 real quick go back to my routing process um, router OSPF1 and say um, area 1 virtual link towards 5555 is going to use a uh, message digest key number 1 MD5 password will be Cisco and I'll do the same thing on R5 area 1 virtual link towards 4444 uh, message digest key number 1 MD5 and password Cisco so on this uh, end I have both method and the password enabled in the on the virtual link only so both method message digest of authenticating packets and password with a digest key and on this one I have show run section router OSPF I didn't move anything from the previous video so I still use authentication for area zero message that I just here and the password is now configured on the virtual link as well that matches R5 so now both method of authentication and the passwords and the key number match between them and obviously as a result of that do show IP OSPF neighbor now adjacency over virtual link is functional